Hello, everyone. I'm Ron Presley, editor of Catfish Now magazine, and I have uh, Mark Blauvelt with me here today. Mark is a B&M pro staff angler and the current record holder of the West Virginia blue catfish at uh, 59.74, I believe it is, something like that, almost 60 pounds. If yeah. I remember right, it weighed 60 at the tournament. But uh, welcome to Catfish Now, Mark. Thank you. I um, always appreciate uh, being here. Well, this uh, particular month's uh, Catfish Now is focused on winter catfishing. And I know with all the experience that, that you've had in catfishing, because you've been around a while. I don't want to make you sound old or anything, but yeah. you've been catfishing a while. You've got some experience. Would you have anything that might help some of our anglers catch some of those cold water cats? It, yeah, um, uh, with about 20 years of fishing, I live up here in the uh, Midwest, uh, in the West Central Ohio, so it gets pretty cold here. As a matter of fact, I was just telling Ron I'll be doing some ice fishing here starting tomorrow. So uh, what I want people to understand is that even if you're in Alabama and the water drops from the from 80 to 70 to, you know, down into the 50s, you know, uh, that 50 degree is their winter. Where here in the upper Midwest, you know, our water is getting to be, you know, cold enough to hold ice. So it doesn't matter if you're in Alabama or in Michigan, you know, this time of year in the winter, fish slow down. They are not going to chase baits. They sit on the bottom. Now, granted, channel cats, we catch all winter long. Blue cats will catch all winter long. But what we find with both of them is that they're just not as active as that water temp gets colder. So a couple of good tips for you. First thing I like to do is I like to slow down. So I like to drag baits a lot. So in the winter, I'll anchor a lot more. Try to, you know, focus up on ledges, um, you know, uh, structure when I can. Uh, but on top of that, <clears throat> um, if I am dragging baits, I'm going to be moving much slower. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, barely moving. You know, I'll have all my drift socks out, just barely moving with the wind uh, to go slow. Now, the reason why is those fish are going to be sitting close to the bottom. That's the other thing. I want shorter leaders. I want to, uh, if I'm using a peg float of some sort, I want to make sure that it's not, you know, five feet behind uh, the weight, you know, where it's up three feet off the bottom. That's a good way to not catch any fish. You want to stay close to the bottom. So you want short leaders. Uh, try to fish within a foot of the bottom if possible. Uh, and that goes for channels and blue cats. We all know flatheads this time of year start being really tough, uh, tough to target. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a smaller hook and smaller baits. So in the past, if I wanted to drag a big skipjack head or a big body piece of shad, you know, at this point, when that bait comes by, they're just going to snap at it. And, and they need to get that whole bait into their mouth at one time. If they're nipping on the back of it, they're not going to chase it as it slowly moves away from them. So, um, you know, even if I'm fishing in the Ohio River for blue cats, you know, I'm fishing baits, you know, the size of a half dollar, you know, not very big. Um, so and and then I'll, I'll go from maybe a, a nine on hook to a seven or even a five at times so that when they grab it, they get the whole bait in their mouth at one shot. And then you got a much better chance of landing those fish versus a lot of those little pecks and short hits that they'll hit it for a minute. If you're moving, then they just stop. They're not going to chase those baits. So those are not all going to chase it. Yeah. Those are all good tips to help you in the winter. Um, as those fish are just not very active. Now, as, as the spring comes on, you get some good warm rains. It slowly takes time to get those fish warmed up to become more active. And then you can go faster bigger baits and the whole sort like that. Okay. There you go. Well, it just sounds like you need to go a little slower and be patient with those wintertime fish. That's your B&M tip of the month. Fish with passion.